Well, good morning, Facebook family. This is your man T-Bell checking in this morning on a Wednesday hump day. Just giving you an update. I posted a video yesterday. Well, not a video, a picture of me working on the toilet yesterday. Uh, I had to replace. Well, let me let you know. This is the toilet. And yes, I put it back together correctly and it ain't leaking and it's running just fine. This is Joy's throne. I use the guest bathroom because I can do all my droppings in there and I can take as long as I want to. So I don't use the master bathroom for my nonsense. So the toilet was making this loud screeching noise. Every time we would flush it, it will make this loud screeching noise and it would wake Jackson up. And then like I had kind of rigged it because the handle had broke, but I had it rigged just enough where you could still flush it. So anyways, it got to the point where the handle broke. And then I broke off the, the overflow tube and it just, I just had to fix it, finally, right? So there it is, running just fine. So I was on my plumbing duty yesterday. Yes, sweetheart. Okay, let me just show you. As a plumber, I also put this faucet on because when we moved in the house, the faucet, it was leaking real bad, dripping real bad, when it was, even though the faucet was turned off and it didn't have no handle on it. So we, when we moved in, we was turning the water on with some pliers. So, yeah, T-Bell is a plumber. I also did toilet downstairs, the toilet downstairs, and the sink down here. What you need, boo? Hmm? Uh, okay, I'm finished making this video. No. The camera's on me. That's how I like it. So I did that toilet yesterday too. That one was so the the bolt that hold the bowl, the bowl and the uh, tank together. It was so rusted. So what happened was I rigged that too. I just put a cup under it because it was leaking. The bolt was like really rusted, so it was leaking behind the toilet, like down here. Let me see. That boat right there, oh, this one back here. You kind of see, I just didn't clean it as good. That boat right there, it was it was rusting so bad. So when I was getting ready to take it off, as soon as I poked it with the screwdriver, it just fell right out and all the water came running out the tank. So of course I had to do that, go ahead and fix it. Also, as a plumber, I fixed this faucet. This is the new faucet. It took me a while to do it because uh, got ahead of myself, took one part off too early, and then I couldn't take the rest of it off. So, <coughs> yeah. That's my beautiful wife, coughing. But yeah, that's what happened yesterday. Fixed two toilets and f put a new faucet on. For your plumbing services, call somebody else. Not T-Bell, because I like to save money. I, that's the difference between me and my brother. My brother is... My brother is the... Oh, that's what I. That's what gotta be done. Who I gotta pay to do it? I ain't finna. I ain't finna fool with that. And I'm the type of person that's like, I ain't finna pay nobody to do it. I figure out how to do it. That's the difference between me and my brother. But anyways, yeah, ladies, get you a man that know how to figure it out. If he can't pay for it, then you just learn how to fix it yourself. That's what you be sh should be looking for. That's your inspiration for the day. Man training. You know how we work on brakes and all this other kind of stuff. It don't take much to figure all this. It's on the internet. Faucet look good. Look much better. I'm going to show you a picture of the old faucet. It was nasty and dirty. But right now, we looking real good. Till next time, you have a blessed day. Like, subscribe to my channel and my page. Share this video for some inspiration of man training. Show you how to do some stuff. Stop trying to pay for everything, all right? All right.